Good morning, you guys. So I am still pregnant. I had a really awful night last night, though. Um, I just was not feeling good at all. I could not sleep. And I finally just got out of bed and went in the living room and just watched my shows and texted my sister, who was also awake and couldn't sleep. Um, so I was glad to have her. But um, I ended up only sleeping from like, I don't know, like 6.30, 7.30. Like the sun was already up when I went to sleep. And I woke up around uh, 10, maybe. So I slept a few hours on the couch. And then I just feel like I've been hit by a truck. Like every day, honestly, it's just getting worse. Like I just feel so uncomfortable. I'm out of breath. I'm swollen everywhere. Like everything's just puffier. I'm not like super super swollen but my face is never this puffy like my face is not normally this big um i feel like i look fat but i know that it's just a lot of retention fluid um and like my fingers just feel really stiff still and it's just like um getting worse and it's moved to my feet more so i um i'm just really tired of being pregnant um, I'm really ready for her to come but I'm 39 weeks today so gratefully we are officially full term so I'm very grateful for that and I can totally wait this out I know I can do it I've come this far um, I'm just being real with you guys because this is pregnancy but it is still beautiful and still a miracle and I'm very very happy that I, um, my body has carried this baby full term and I've had such good health. Um, I'm very grateful for that and I'm just so, um, proud of my body and just really enjoying this whole experience, um, whether I am uncomfortable or not. <laughs> um, but my husband and I are going to, we just kind of hung out at the house, ate some of our leftovers and, we're gonna go to town now and go get a Humphrey, which is like this frozen yogurt treat that I love and I'm super excited about. I've, I, we didn't know that they had one here. Um, they used to have this place called Counter Culture in the town that we went to college in. And apparently they have one here and we noticed that um, a couple weeks ago. And so he's gonna treat me to a Humphrey today. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about it. So. I'll catch up with you guys later. So I'm totally wearing my husband's clothes because this is all that fits me. <laughs> so I'm wearing his huge hoodie and honestly don't think I'm going to put any makeup on today. I put a little bit of foundation mixed with my um, moisturizer, but I think I'm just going to be low key today. Um, maybe I could convince him to take me for a walk. So I'm wearing some his t-shirt, my maternity leggings, and a nice comfy sweater, um, or hoodie, and some shoes. So, yeah. This is 39 weeks pregnant. Not jelly. Seven different days of the week. Seven different <laughs> Simeon doesn't know that I'm recording. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> So I'm gonna put on some mascara and I put on some blush and some uh, mineral veil already. I know I just said that I wasn't gonna put makeup on, but I totally did. So whatever. <laughs> and I know my face is big and puffy, and my husband says it's not. I said it is. I think he's crazy. Like I guess he just doesn't even care. I'm like I don't have the space. It's not my face. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, you guys. So my husband is going into the gas station to get us something to drink. Um, and I wanted to share with you the lips that I've been wearing lately. I've been wearing this kind of same makeup look, which is like super plain. Um, I'll have to do a little tutorial soon on what I've been doing. But um, if you're interested. Um, but I have been loving this um, Velvet Matte Lipstick from Victoria's Secret. I purchased it a while back. This is the color called Perfection. And I just really like 
the um, texture of it. It's it's really nice. But um, I'll sometimes wear it by itself, but lately I've been wearing it with lip gloss. And these two lip glosses are very similar. This one is the Duo Chromatic one from NYX in the color Spring It On. And this is a really fun color. It's like that holographic type thing. Um, it has a lot of shimmer. But I also have been wearing this Nude Kisses from Laura Geller. Um, this is going to be a more expensive. I got this for sale on the holidays, um, during the holidays, um, for like Black Friday shopping or something, um, at Ulta. But the NYX is a good compromise. It's probably like $7. So I just thought I would share. Um, I just feel like it's a good neutral, everyday kind of color. So, um, I'm really wanted to tell you that um, and my husband's coming back to the car so I honked at him just a minute ago and scared him and he got mad at me. Say hi! Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay so we got our Humphrey so basically it's like frozen yogurt and it has grapes, granola, strawberries, and bananas in it. And it has honey drizzles on top. And it's delicious. So this is pretty much my lunch. <laughs> I might try to find something with some more protein in it um, to eat in a bit. But um, just can't fit much in there right now. So probably in a couple hours I'll find some meat to eat. Um, might wait till I get home and just make some grilled chicken. Um, but we're gonna go run some errands. I really need to get those bassinet sheets and I looked on Amazon and they have them two for $18. So we're gonna run into Bye Bye Baby and um, see if they have them for a similar price because I'd really like to have them like now because I need to wash them and dry them and have them ready. Um, and then what else do I need to do? Oh, I want to go look at Serger's at Joann's Fabric because the one that I'm going to buy, I think next month I'm going to buy it. Um, I think I'm going to get that um, from Amazon too, but because I love buying everything on Amazon. <laughs> um, but I want to make sure that that's the best price. Um, I'm pretty sure it is because... I feel like Joann's is kind of overpriced sometimes, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, so if you don't know what a serger is, it's basically, it's an overlock stitching machine that you use to do like professional hems and stuff and professional stitching. And um, it's just gonna really help some of my projects look a lot better. So I'll share, share with you. husband wanted me to hand him something. Um, I'll pretty much just share that stuff with you later so you can get the visual, but um, it's just like something that I really want for my sewing projects. So, um, but it is a little bit pricey. It's around $200 to get one, but my husband said that I could get one. That's kind of, I guess, my push present. So, <laughs> um, super excited. Okay, so we went into Joann's and they had some sergers, but they were like $200 more than the one that I am going to get on Amazon. So, screw that. So, Amazon for the win. Um, they didn't have the brand that I wanted either. So, now we're going to go into Bed Bath & Beyond and see if they have bassinet sheets, which they probably don't, but we'll see. Hey guys, so we are back home and I did find the bassinet sheet at Bye Bye Baby and it fits, so I'm just washing it now. So, um, yeah, so we just came home. My husband's watching football, of course, and I think it's the Colts and the Chiefs. Um, my little dog is just hanging out here. Um, I'm feeling awful today. <laughs> Um, I just had a really bad night and I'm really tired, I guess, but I just feel really different and yucky, so I think I'm going to lay down, maybe try to take a nap or something, just rest, because we did hop around today and walk a little bit, and I'm just really tired, my back's kind of really getting tired and sore, um, 
I'm actually trying to upload right now yesterday's vlog. I uh, had some problems with my computer. I had to do some updates and stuff, so sorry it's a little bit late. Or was a little bit late. By the time you're watching this, you probably already watched it. But um, that vlog will be up in a minute, so I'll be happy. Um, but I'm just kind of chilling at the house, and I'll catch up with you in a bit. Hey, you guys. So I'm just hanging out still at the house. Um, not a whole lot's happened. We're still watching football. And um, I feel so awful. I just feel so yucky today. And I just don't know why. And I know I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Um, so I'm really sleepy. So I think I'm just like grumpy and frustrated because I'm sleepy. Um, but I really feel like there's just been some change in my body in the last couple of days because I just feel yucky. And I know a lot of people say that when the end is near, you just feel bad like that. So I think I'm just, just in survival mode at this point. There's not a whole lot I can do about it. Um, I'm just over it. Um... I hate to complain, but I just want to be real with you guys, and um, maybe you're pregnant too, and you feel the same way, so I feel your pain, um, but baby girl is moving great and everything, and um, you know, I'll be fine, but um, I'm just hoping that tomorrow will be a little bit better, and I'll be able to get some sleep tonight. Um, my main problem is it's hard to lay down because I basically just feel like indigestion and all this discomfort happens when I lay down. Like, there's so much pressure on my belly, like, she's just so heavy and it just feels like she's squishing things that, you know, make make me uncomfortable and she just kicks and moves and doesn't like it when I lay on my sides. Um, sometimes she's cool with it, but she has to be like asleep pretty hard for me to be able to lay down um, because if she's awake, she just moves like crazy and puts me in very uncomfortable places um, and I just can't handle it like she's just like kicking me in the ribs or something and I just I just can't handle the discomfort um, but then I also kind of feel kind of lightheaded and um, like a lot of pressure like kind of in my head almost I don't know like when I lay down sometimes if she's like moving too much it kind of takes my breath away and I can just tell that like there's so much pressure in my abdomen that it's just really hard for me to be able to like breathe well and feel um, like good. It's just I feel like I can't even like like breathe or anything. So um, that's just how it is for me. I mean, it it's not I'm not trying to scare anybody. It's like just my body. Um, so I might try to sleep a different position tonight, maybe sitting up or something, um, because I just don't think that laying on my side is really going to be an option. Um, but she has been really low, and I can feel her on my cervix, so I hope that her moving um, and putting all that pressure down there is doing something. Um, every time she moves, I think, I just hope she breaks my water soon. Um, but she's got to come out soon. She's getting too big, and I'm just ready to meet her. And I think my body is saying that she's come out. <laughs> um, and hopefully all this discomfort is progressing me and preparing me for a really good labor and delivery experience so um, I know it's all gonna be worth it in the end no matter what but um, that's just how I'm feeling right now so so that's pretty much it that's my lovely Saturday night um, maybe we'll have a baby soon we'll see 
Alrighty, you guys, so it's the end of the night. It's almost one o'clock in the morning, and we are um, just chilling in the living room, about to go to bed. We watched a couple episodes of that show, Jack Ryan, I talked to y'all about earlier, and it was really good. So hopefully I will sleep well tonight and be able to make it to church in the morning. So good night, and I will see you guys tomorrow.